Will Biddy keep this leaf? It doesn't look like it. But yes, she's keeping it. Or maybe not. What will Biddy's decision be on the leaf? It's all to play for on the 2022 nesting season. And yes, we are back with highlights from Biddy and Miley. Biddy's going to be building her nest between the 5th and the 6th, so we're covering two days of nest building in this video. She does an impressive bout of nest building in this one, and manages to bring in loads of material. And she starts her day off with loads of nesting shuffles. I've noticed most of the time she tends to come in early in the morning, do a load of nesting shuffles, and then go out and start bringing in material. It's like she needs to get her bearings with how far the nest is on. And I'm going to take this moment to say that the live stream is quite ahead of these videos, as I'm sure you're aware of. If you haven't heard already, I'll just let you in real quick, I am just in the middle of doing exams. And since these YouTube videos generally take to two and a half to three hours each to make, that is the reason that you're seeing a lag in video uploads. And one of the reasons why I was so adamant to get the YouTube streaming of the Nestbox up so it would keep you entertained during this lag period of uploading. I will say this though, I am uploading a little bit more frequently on TikTok. Those videos only take 15 to 20 minutes to make at most. And they're proven to be a great hit. Well, I'll have to say the videos aren't proven to be a great hit. Biddy is proven to be a great hit. On one of our videos, she's already reached one and a half million views as it stands on the 22nd of April. But here on our YouTube side of things, we already knew how great Biddy was. But it's nice to know that she's getting the recognition she deserves. So if you're on TikTok, be sure to check her out. I'll put the link in description. And now back to the 5th of April. And we get a rare glimpse of Miley. He hops in the nest box first, and he's a fine looking bird if I do say so myself. We don't tend to see too much of Miley, as generally when she's building like this, he's sitting out on the tree defending the area. But you see, Biddy comes in in just a moment, and quickly and promptly tells him to leave. A signature move of Biddy and Miley, we always see Biddy shouting at Miley to leave anytime he's in the nest box and she's in the building mode. And something that I actually don't always see with other blue tits. It's not always the case. Some of them are quite relaxed with their partner in the box. And we see it here demonstrated again. Miley is in, Biddy hops in, and Miley wastes not a second in leaving. And with that, Biddy goes into another spat of nest building. Bringing loads of material in, and indeed just as much material back out again. I get a lot of questions about this behaviour. And my take on it is, I genuinely think sometimes she's getting rid of the nest material, but sometimes she just wants to move it to a different place. As sometimes I see her hop up to the hole, and not even leave the nest box and hop back down. And sometimes if I'm actually actively watching the nest box from inside my parents' house, sometimes she even just hops out onto a tree branch or onto the other side of the nest hole and then hops back in with the same piece of moss. So my take often is maybe there was a piece of moss or a piece of grass that is kind of tangled up, a little bit funny or not the way she would like it and it needs to be taken out and brought back in and reintegrated into the nest. That's just my take on it folks and I have to say, truth be told, we will never know. But we will have to trust the system as the nest always manages to turn out just the way she likes it. Even though I've noticed over the years that Biddy has quite a scruffy nest compared to other blue tits. If I do say so myself, this fits Perfectly in her character though. And now, the leaf. I've seen birds 
question whether to keep a piece of material before, but Biddy really takes the biscuit with this one. She contemplates taking it out, and indeed she does take it out, but proceeds to bring it straight back in again. She contemplates her decision, and maybe decides to leave it down. But no, she wants to take it out. Or maybe not. Maybe if she pecks at it a little bit, her problem will be solved. But no, the leaf must go. Or maybe not. A little bit more pecking may solve this issue. And I think here that she actually thinks she put it out the hole. But she actually just dropped it down below her. And if you see when she proceeds to start nest and shuffle, it actually falls on her. That's it there on her wing. And then she seems to notice it straight away again and really feels like she needs to take care of this problem. Is it gonna go? One more contemplation. A little bit of pecking. And then finally, no, the leaf must go. If this isn't the sort of content that users subscribed for, well, I don't know why you're here. And if that wasn't enough, we even get a short little visit from the Great Tit. Thankfully, Biddy wasn't home. You can see the Great Tit just in a moment poking its head through. It doesn't enter the box this time, but it is surely having another nosy. I do personally feel though that it is losing interest. If it was interested in the nest box, it would certainly be hopping in and having a look around. And indeed, visits would be much more frequent. Kind of like when Biddy was first prospecting the nest box. But after the great leaf decision saga and a prompt visit of a great hit, Biddy decides to go into some serious nest building. And really starts to bring in the bulk of the material. It is probably the more impressive amount of nest building that we've seen this year so far. More and more material mo comes in and you can even see the little ray of sunshine moving across the nest box. It's a good indicator of the time passing. Other than the clock up in the top right hand corner that is. I always find it very cute at this stage that female blue tits like Biddy here really tends to get lost in all the material at this point. Sometimes she can be seen just popping her head up through the material with a bit hanging off her head let's say. It's always quite entertaining to watch. But we can really see her starting to bulk out this nest. More and more material is starting to be pushed up that nest box slope. And even the nest cup is slowly but surely starting to form there at the back. And some of the pieces of moss that she's bringing her bringing in are absolutely huge. Some of them don't even make it into the nest hole like we can see here. Blue tits must be in some way mechanically minded as she can pretty much tell what she needs to do to fix this situation. You can see her having a quick look at what needs to be done and then coming up and pulling it in off wherever it was caught off. But then it proceeds to take it all out and to bring it back in again. And she's been doing this at this stage of the nest building period. She will have a few hours of a build in the morning, especially towards the afternoon. And then will tend to disappear for the rest of the day. She might hop in and out and do a little 20 minute half hour spat of nest building, but that will generally be it. But we will see in the coming days that she will start nest building all day to start getting the nest complete. But now, trouble is brewing. A male comes in, which does not look like Miley. And followed by a female, that certainly does not look like Biddy. She's a much smoother face complexion, and a fine looking board if I do say so myself. And we've seen these pair of blue tits continuously checking out this nest box and really showing a lot of interest, and they very clearly know that this nest box is being used. How will this all play out? Well, as always, only time will tell. We'll see you in the next one, and best of luck. Bye bye.